Hi, I'm Bryce Salvador, former NHL defenseman and New Jersey Devils team captain. Welcome to the X-Hockey Shooting Series. During the course of several episodes, I'm going to share my experiences and thoughts on how to practice shooting to make your shot arsenal game ready. Joining me in the shooting series is Coach Oktai Armagen from X-Hockey Products and X-Hockey Products Performance. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the snapshot. Really, the snapshot, as I like to say, it, is, is just the way you work with your wrist and how quick you're able to snap them over. And the starting position for a snapshot could be in so many different areas. It could be on your backhand, it could be on your forehand. It's really the, the mechanics of either pulling the puck and then snapping the puck through. Depending on when your weight is, it can be on your backhand, snapping it through. So it really comes down to how you are snapping over your wrists. When we teach a snapshot, we start off with the most comfortable shot to use, and that's the wrist shot. This is position one. Position two, is that you're going to move and load it back here and then what usually what ends up happening is that when you go to transfer your weight to position three forward as you more advance is that you'll pull the puck or position it ahead of you and then you'll snap those wrists so instead of pushing and pulling you're going to come you're going to push you're going to snap the fall through is your hands are facing the net both your hands and then the other thing is this puck placement. Sometimes you see kids get off balance is that they either pull the puck too close and then they're trying to get in tight, right? Or they're too far away and they're trying to then reach. So it's really, the skill here is having, you know, 20, 30 pucks and just getting comfortable of just pulling and then snapping. Pulling, snapping. You can also do a snapper that's low and then when you're doing that, it's just you have to stop your follow through. And what I mean by that is when you're coming here, you see how I made it a little bit shorter here instead of coming up here and finishing up higher. It's just kind of where you finish. The weight transfer actually happens more often than not is down into the ice. So you can have you know, a weight transfer from, from your wrist shot, you pull it forward and then you snap. But a lot of times when you're coming down, your weight transfer is down into the ice through the shaft. So the weight transfer is actually forward. You're not necessarily loading the shot. Watch how I kind of go down a little bit into this on this one. So I go down. So I kind of went down and transferred my energy and the weight that way. A couple key areas of where a lot of youth players have trouble is when they set for the snapshot and they're coming through on the follow through, their blades will end up towards the ceiling or towards the roof of the building and they'll be in this motion. If you see the puck floating over their net, if it's in a float motion or wobbly, there's something wrong with the mechanics of what they're doing. Your top hand definitely needs to be away from your body so that you can pull with the top hand and push with your bottom hand. Your bottom hand is going to be the snap and pull and plus when you have the, the stick away and I'm leaning the stick is going to be ahead, the shaft is going to be ahead of the puck, which is also very important. A lot of times people try to snap the puck and the stick is in line. It's very difficult to get any type of flex. The only flex is straight down and that doesn't do you any good. You need flex in, to go forward. So typically when you take your snap is that the stick needs to be in front of the puck, which is a key uh, point to remember. 